Hey, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time to become a member and or just subscribing and taking the time to check out the videos. Let's go to the surface of the moon. Yeah, that's atmosphere, right? That's what we're looking at. There's two objects here on the left and there's one large one going by on the right. I will get an, a circle up, but first I'll explain it. This object is going face to face with another smaller dark object. And what it's going to do, it's going to veer right, like it's doing there. And you see in each frame, it's veering over right, like um, obviously it's trying not to hit it, right? Makes sense. Let's use our common sense. The, again, two different objects and this one in the, and this one over top also. But the one on the bottom um, is going face to face with this one there. If I, I thought the one on the left was stationary, it could be it is. So the object on the right, the larger object, is going to contour and go between these two other objects that seem to be staying there even when the telescope moves over because that one's moving over with the frame. There's a whole bunch of details. Hey, I got a good one for you all. The SpaceX satellites. This, for those who don't know, is a satellite train freshly launched from Elon Musk uh, um, a few months ago. And there, here's Venus, another uh, moment where Elon Musk let go 120 or 60 satellites. I think it was 120, that one. So here's the thing. Um, I always love showing this one. I got So don't forget, by the way, everyone says it's satellites I'm filming, uh, the trolls. Well, look, they go up in atmosphere and they were just launched. Look how small they are. Imagine with the infrared camera. So what do you think of this one? That you can see the element, the burner on the bottom going up and down in intensity as it's hovering, uh, just slowly hovering over my head, very, very close. I thought I was going to do like in the movies when, you know, um, uh, all my hair is going to come out or something or, or I was going to have markings on my body. It's scary stuff, you know. Here's the size and comparison, my friends. Uh, the one on the right is the one over my head and the one on the left is what I filmed. Very important to know here, there's no magnification, okay? It's infrared. So the one I'm completely zoomed out uh, for the large light and I'm, a com I'm completely zoomed out for the train because you can see it a lot better. Here are the two different moments of the train where you can see, um, not for long, by the way, like 10 seconds, I was able to see them. But that light that came down to the house, ladies and gents, those who follow this channel, is a real UFO. It's definitely not a satellite that's gonna come down to my house. And it's what marked four months of me not seeing one UFO after that incident. We are on the moon, on the moon, and look, UFOs are arriving to the moon. Or, as we talk a lot about, is there a war on the moon? It could be ballistic missiles, right? Of course, we're speculatively speaking here. Here's one more shot. Um... I don't know why I jumped into the moon right away. I stuck that frame in there. Sorry. Uh, we are going to go to the moon, but what is this? Do you have an idea of what that is? That is a real beautiful image of a satellite train. Elon Musk satellite train. So you can see some detail in some of the objects going by. They're satellites. Supposedly all the same objects, right? And when you look at them, you go, hmm. Uh, some of them are doing something different than the other ones. Some of them are look larger. Uh, some of them look like they're, they're they're brighter. So now we are back on the moon. And one of my favorites, Mera Serenitatis. I love teasing the trolls with this one. Um, sorry, there's a rectangle right there without any filtering. And now with a filtering, let, let, let me, let me um, try to make you understand I put the image green, okay? <laughs> There's no manipulation there. Filter is a big word sometimes, okay? Big terms. I, I colored the image is what I meant. Check it out. This 90 degree angle, there's a line there with lights moving in it. And it make many people mad. Watch this. And the other end there, the lights are moving too. So that is a tunnel-like object, maybe leaving people on the moon go and run along on whatever way transportation that they have without being seen because i'm telling you i put my hand in the fire there are lights on the surface so that is something uh built okay a straight line then the curve here they wind all around the bloody craters and you can see them along the terminator line there are lights there 
you know there's thousands of channels out there with people saying look at this look at that and it's all smudges and here i show something really concrete evidence like this here a bloody ufo fleet going across mervacantatis which by the way i have proof of uh two or three of them coming in uh, out of the surface to go meet up with this uh unknown flying fleet that's right over the moon which by the way was um filmed yeah, at 1 in the afternoon, 12.30, 1 in the afternoon. So then I said, wow, they're going there during the day when people are not necessarily looking as much. And what do you think of this? What do you think of this? If many miles away, there's a flash simultaneously, again, simultaneously lighting up at the same time everywhere else. What does that mean to you? It took me a long time to understand it. It's a light system. There's other objects that are going to... You're going to tell me it's coincidence? No. There's no light between those two areas. And it's many, many miles apart. And now look at the light taking off. There's, oh my gosh, smoke. Thus proving it's taking off from the surface. That's not scary. I'll show you better than that. This one's going to disappear and leave some smoke like in a movie. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It, it's, it's actually pretty incredible seeing it i mean listen it's mind-blowing and and the way i was able to show it really cool and i don't know if you notice it has a particular shape and to the right that smoke or line of energy is going down to the surface maybe it's something using frequencies or something so you understand i go through many scenarios ufos it could be anything at all it could be a war it could be a whole lot of other different things and, and it could be none of that right of course, one of my favorites again, and, and the worst one for the trolls. Analyze what I'm showing you right now. What I just showed you and explained to you around the half uh, square crater, where you see that there's lights running along the craters. Look at the lines of smoke and where the lights are. On the right, they're all gathered up together, those objects. And there's some coming in there, and there's some leaving. Oh my gosh, guys. That moon is inhabited. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, absolutely. There's all the structuring. It's a frame. And around the frame, smaller structures. A simple conversion. Let's go over to the converted images and look at the blurry patches. Look what happens when I convert the image. Look at all those patches. Back it up. You could see there's something there, a different type of element, and the surface area is different. But why all the patches and the square craters? That's that's the most incredible thing. We're just off of Bianchini Crater here near Sinus Iridum. So you have pipes, tunnels, and of course we're calling them pipes and tunnels because they look like that. But it could be long, long uh, square objects, but we we're not that close maybe to be able to see if they're square or not. Look for yourself in the center there. That's pretty complex, that setup of lines that I'm showing you there. And by the way, uh, pixelation is a layer over top of an image. That's the most beautiful part. Why do people ask me why my name's on the bottom of these images turning? Really silly. I, I get that all day. That troll Brico, the French guy, the one that likes wearing dresses, asked me all the time. Those just arriving, I'll explain the dress soon. So check it out. <laughs> you got to love the trolls. Where are we, ladies and gents? I really wanted to uh, re-show this one again. This is an implosion. And look at the lines. Take note at the same time. This is in Nevada um, on Earth. Um, the lines crossing paths, okay? The roads like we see on the moon. But this is an implosion. Look at what the crater looks like. All a bit muffled up. So now let's look at a nuclear bomb like this, okay? And see what hole it makes. And again, we're, we're still on Earth. But we are going to go to the moon after to do a very quick comparison. No need to make a three-hour video to explain exactly um, a very interesting theory, even though we're just speculatively speaking. Notice the lines inside of this crater that are, um, when the blast occurred, um, all these straight lines side by side um, are showing. And in the center, you see a bright uh, object um, like ejecta, right? That was formed by the blast, obviously. And it's very similar to the craters on the moon. Well, not just similar. I'm telling you, they are identical. 
I don't see any difference whatsoever. The same circular form that the creator made, no difference in the edges. The only difference, it looks like they took all the dirt away that was around it. But look at the ejecta in the center, right? The same uh, impact that it did. The, the lines are bigger, of course. Here in Nevada, real quick, because it's interesting, it looks like the moon. And those are all the craters um, and tests that they do, that they have been doing and that they still are doing in Nevada. Of course, Nevada test site. Look it up. It's an interesting area. <laughs> well, there, um, unfortunately, not quite the exact same angle, but on the left is Nevada. And on the right is a, you know, NASA image, both of them probably, and um, on the moon, on the right. So look at the difference. There's none. And this was, um, you're looking at exercise desert storm in Nevada. And there's the test site again. So you're seeing that wave coming right now. They took a picture because that white fog that you see is the blast, the sounds coming right across and uh, spreading radiation over these soldiers as they, they do some tests. And check it out. It actually does look a lot like it really is right? someone on the moon or definitely somebody visiting either the recent or ancient structures. Aliens on the moon, they must mutton. They are best in the down in that country. They brought them in fighting, open and bend their body, clap and they jump and they come and hear so soon. Yeah, aliens up there on the moon. They may be even coming right here soon. Doesn't matter cause the disclosure's coming soon. The disclosure's coming 